Hey guys, so before we get into the video, I would like to give a big thank you to Nudita for sponsoring this portion of the video. Nudita is a lingerie company that has delicate and sexy everyday essentials. Nudita sending me these items was right on time as I am learning to step more into my feminine energy. So they sent me the triangle cup bamboo fiber mini dress in the color pink. I love pink lately, so I've been trying to get into the pinks and the more girlier colors i always stick to like black and white so i'm trying to step out of that bamboo fibers in this mini dress make the dress breathable while still being sexy next i have the lace joining bindings lingerie set this one is a little spicy but it was my favorite because the color just looks so good on my skin this blue right here is my favorite color anyway, so when I seen this set, I was like, oh yes, I have to. This set is special because the lace is not uncomfortable at all, and if you guys know how lace is, it can sometimes be itchy and just not a good feeling. Not to mention, it is so beautiful on. Nudita has so many different options to choose from on their site. If you are looking to spice your nightwear up, click the link in my description box to see all Nudita has to offer and get 30% off by using the code LONI when you check out. They also have a giveaway going on if you join Nudita Facebook group for a chance to win cash and prizes. All that information will be in the description box as well as here on the screen. They will be picking a winner October 10th, so make sure you guys go ahead and join if you're interested. Now let's go ahead and get into the video. Hey guys, welcome to a get ready with me, but it's going to be like... Mm, I would say vlog style get ready with me, but it's just going to be like, you know not traditional sit down get ready with me until we start doing my makeup and my hair but y'all look i look up a mess yeah i know so i've been looking like this all day because i've been in editing mode and you know if you are an editor or whatever when you locked in baby you be locked in chunk taking a nap so i gotta be quiet so i'm just about to get my stuff for the shower and then i'm gonna go ahead and take a shower i'm gonna wash my hair and then we're going to hopefully get my makeup done before the sun go down no it gets better even in the rain you gotta keep your head up Tell it, she said she fed up I'm like whatever when she met the sex better I put the diamond on your fist, drop the fella I put the knee to you and now we here together You're the only girl for me You're the only girl I need because I wanted to start my makeup first, but <clears throat> I'm gonna just do my hair. Please ignore the pimple, okay? Hormonal acne going on. And it's another one right here, and like, it just hates me, okay? <sighs> I'm getting dressed. I'm going out with some friends to so some of my, hold on y'all, let me take my hair down. Let's get started because I, I mean, I'm on good timing. Y'all should be proud. It's seven and I'm supposed to be going out at 11. Um, so I'm just going to do my hair. I wanted to kind of do it how it was last night, but if a side part is looking promising, then we might bust out a side part. It really just depends. Knowing me, I'm gonna probably put it up. I'm gonna talk, but then I also want to listen to music, but then I also want to talk. Like, I don't know. First off, oh shoot. I just want to talk about a little bit about my healing journey because y'all know I'm in my healing journey and I just been really telling y'all lately that I'm in my healing journey and I haven't really been going into detail how I used to like when I was like going through it 
um I'm not really going through it as bad now like I feel like I'm in the better times like I'm in the I'm not a hundred percent better but I'm in the it's getting better stage like I'm good and I'm gonna be great soon if I keep it if I keep it up and I don't like revert back I'm gonna be great because like I would have been I've been on this healing journey so long because I always reverted back and went back and I'm in the stages of it's good it's going good um, as you guys know I haven't announced it yet I did move to Texas so I am now living in Texas and you know I'm I'm happy actually I love it um, Tiana's loving her new school and it's just been different it, it feels good oh shoot Hold on, y'all. It's a little nappy. It feels good being somewhere and nobody knows you. It's like, you know, it's no pressure of me being Lonnie 24K or me being a Lonnie that they knew from middle school. Like, I'm just, nobody knows me. And it feels good. I, I enjoy that, you know? It's so big. It's not like a smaller city. So... You know, you can see people today and then never see them again. So, being on your healing journey, it's nothing pretty about it. It's nothing nice about it. Like, it's rough, okay? <laughs> it's rough. I, I mean, there were days that I didn't think that I was going to make it through. I didn't even think that I would get to this point. Like, it was bad. So, you know, for me to have taken the steps to just better myself and better myself and my kids and really set up boundaries. Like, I was a person who never really had boundaries with relationships, with friendships, even friends. Like, I've lost a lot of friends just because, you know, I'm in a different path. I'm on a different path in life right now. And then also just setting up boundaries for myself, you know. I never had any boundaries. Um... So it feels good, you know, like that's one part that I'm loving about my healing journey. I'm learning to do things by myself, be alone, which has been something I've struggled with for such a long time. For so long, I've struggled with being alone. And, you know, I'm not going to lie and say, oh, some days it's not hard because like some days it is hard. Some days I'm like, oh my gosh, but it's not hard enough to the point where I want to go back to what the fuck was making me depressed and sad. Like, it ain't that bad. <laughs> yeah, like, healing journey. And then I feel like, okay, I've never, let's just, I've never really ever had, like, a real healing journey. Like, I've always left one person and moved on and I would have another person. You know what I'm saying? So, like... It, was, it would be easy to move on because you never really healed, you know? So to actually take the time to heal and learn myself and learn the things that I like and I don't like and, you know, what I'm going to accept and what I'm not going to, to accept, like, it's nice. It's, it's been, it's, it's nice. It's nice. I definitely recommend, you know, if women are going through a hard time to love on yourself like love on yourself work on things that you want to work on fix things that you want to fix um i'm actually i've actually been thinking about taking on new hobbies so like <laughs> one new hobby i want to take on is um floral like right like i don't know how i don't want to say being a floor florist floral is for like y'all know what i'm trying to say but <clears throat> I love like how bouquet, bu flower bouquets, flower bouquet, bouquet, bouquet. <laughs> what? I never say these words, like it's weird. Anyways, y'all know what I'm trying to say. How they look and like how like the really cute ones look and when they have like a letter spelled out or when they have the letter and then it's like different roses. I was just looking into like who, like how do you become a florist? And I was like, well, I don't want to do this like for a business so i should do it as a hobby you know what i'm saying like you know just for the house and 
for my friends so i think that that's something i'm gonna take on as a hobby when you really stay focused and lock in with your goals and lock in with what you need to be doing you realize that you don't have time for all the extra shit and you know i that's not to say that this shit has just been easy like it's it's been i've had some days I've had some days, I've had some days where I've wanted to go back, you know, but then I remind myself, I'm, I'm a person that's like, it doesn't take much for me to remind myself why I stopped messing with someone because I don't let stuff go. I hold grudges like real bad and I'm trying to stop doing that as well. So like I have forgiven people but not for them i've forgiven them for me so that i can move on and i'm not stuck and fixated on what they did to wrong me so i know that this is kind of all over the place but i also want to touch on dealing with a narcissist like i was the person who you know well i've been through so much in life that i know not to judge unless you go through the situation right but i would always wonder why do girls stay with guys who like abuse them or you know like verbal abuse physical abuse like i've always wondered why why like why can't you leave but as i began to i mean as of course you know i'd be thinking like i'd be thinking like god do I really got to go through everything? Like, I know I ain't went through everything, but I'm like, dang, is this my life really? Like, is this what I'm really going through? Like, I'm going through this. And now, while I was not physically abused ever, I draw the fucking line. I'm sorry. I know we're not supposed to say what we'll deal with and what we're not going to deal with, but I'm sorry. I'm not fucking dealing with it. I am not dealing with that. Back to what I was saying. Dealing with a narcissist. It's hard to leave them alone. Like... It's like a mind game that you play, like that they play with you, but like you play back as well. So like, it's like a back and forth. And so I was looking into it, right? Of course, no, I wasn't even looking into it, but you know when you get to talking about stuff and then TikTok start pulling shit up because they know what's going on with your life. Like the feds be listening real bad. So I come across something that's like, how to break a trauma bond with a narcissist i'm like what the f are you serious like the phone is listening to me so i see that and so i start looking into it and it's basically saying how when you have a trauma bond with someone and how you know it's hard to leave and let go because your brain gets so used to the highs and the lows and i said oh my god that makes perfect sense like that makes so much sense and then also like i don't know why it's so much harder to leave a narc a narc relation relationship versus a regular one i don't know i don't know maybe because in a regular one you know you have people that mutually agree or you have one person that's like willing to let go but like in a narcissist relationship you have someone who's gonna keep coming back who's never gonna let go and like you really have to love yourself enough to say i'm not dealing with this shit literally that that's that's i'm sorry that's just what it took for me and i'm not saying that it's easy because it's hard it's really hard it's really hard and then it's even harder when you have a kid with them it's like a million times harder because it's like okay if i didn't have no kid with you i could go no contact right but we have a kid together i can't strictly go no contact like especially if they're like a good dad but then it comes to a point where like you really have to set boundaries but then you have some people who don't want to allow you to set boundaries and who break your boundaries or like you know even us as women like we fuck up and we like we, oh we love them so then we break we let them run over our own boundaries that we set so now we're not even respecting our own boundaries that we set for ourselves and you know it's just it's a long journey so if you're going through that i sympathize with you guys okay because i know it's not easy but love yourself more to put yourself first love yourself more to know that there is a greater love out there for you a better love and that's not love that's not love and don't ever settle like 
I was watching Poor Minds podcast and they were just talking about, you know, a man giving you dust, cracker dust, and you and you just settling for it because because it's just a man and he's there. Like fucking right don't fucking settle like i did go through a, a point in life where someone like where people was feeling like i needed them and i was even feeling to myself like oh i needed them do you know what i'm saying but i'm a strong independent woman and i'm very prideful which also plays a part so like if a person may start to feeling like i need them and start making me feel like i need them then i gotta show you like this why i don't need you like i've been that girl before i even knew you like did you forget let me remind you so you know don't be out here don't be out here settling settling ladies okay don't be out here settling don't be letting little man trick you and you know love yourself love yourself and set boundaries and set the stuff that you will deal with and the things you won't deal with and don't renege when you say you're not going to deal with something don't, don't oh another thing that's been on my mind y'all is like i I have been so sad right because i haven't been anywhere all year like on a trip i haven't been anywhere since Vegas and um I was pregnant so like I haven't been anywhere and it just seems like life and life and every chance it gets so like you know I really haven't had a chance to sit down and be like okay I'm gonna plan this I'm gonna go here and you know even my friends my friends just went to Miami this month like today they went to miami today and they invited me but like you know i just moved so like it wasn't really realistic for me to head to miami i was just like i've been so you know down because i missed the old me y'all know that we talked about this a million times i missed the old me i miss you know i just missed the old me i just feel like this season is just a season for me to just be a mom oh shit and that's it you know what i'm saying like i'm not that girl that i used to be and i think that i tried to fight so hard to get back to that girl after i had my baby that i really didn't have time to really soak it in and enjoy it like i should have um i did enjoy it though like newborn so like my full a hundred percent attention wasn't just on what it needed to be on and then like my my confidence went down dealing with that so like feel me hi <laughs> so like now i'm just learning to really live in the moment curls looking real good mm, that's that curl days is amazing literally because like y'all see how it looks right here versus here mm -hmm. basically i've just been learning how to just live in the moment in the day not worry about the future not worry about like i worry about my future you know what i'm saying but like not too much not to the point where like i'm too busy stressing over it i'm not getting anything done i'm learning to accept things for what they are and then i'm also learning that everything is an experience everyone is an experience nobody belongs to me and i think that's where i really mess up when it comes to relationships and friendships is that i start i get so territorial over like mine my stuff like i don't i've never been anyone that like to share i hate sharing i actually don't even like sharing now you know what i'm saying but um i'm learning that nobody belongs to you and i can't control anyone else's actions like i can't control what they do it doesn't matter how much you bitch about it how much you cry about it you can't control what anyone does with their life and you can't get mad at them either because most people show you who they are and once they show you who you are that's up to you to decide the right thing to do or not you know what i'm saying so i'm learning to take accountability for the things that i have allowed to go on in my life versus 
going to people like oh you broke my heart or oh you hurt me so bad like why would you do that like why would you allow that like you know what i'm saying so yes i'm proud of me i'm like i'm doing really good can you tell like can you guys i know like fuck the acne right now you know but i'm doing good i'm in a good space i'm in a very good space i love it here <laughs> Well, I look like that little black kid. I don't know if it's a boy or a girl, but it's a cartoon. I don't even know what cartoon it is. Finished, coming it out. So let's go ahead and put it in a ponytail because I'm pretty sure that's how I'm gonna wear it. I'm supposed to be going to playground tonight, y'all, so. And what's so funny is they invited me out to camp last night and I didn't go because I'm a grandma now. I'm sorry, like, I be tired. I be tired. I be wanting to cuddle in the bed with my babies. Like, that's it. I don't be wanting to do nothing else. Okay, side part. Side part or should I wear it? I'm gonna put it in the thing. I'm just such a half up, half down girly, like, when it comes to a half up, half down, and it can go in a half up, half down, I'm doing it, period. Yeah, there we go. Okay, there we go. That's good. So, I'm going to put this in a ponytail first, and then I'm going to brush it up. Can we talk about Houston rent versus um, Florida, baby? <sighs> rent here is such a good price versus Florida. Like, Florida rent is ridiculous, literally. Like, they be wanting so much money and like, it don't even be updated. And then like, it's not even a big city, but like, Pensacola's on the beach, so I guess that's why. But still, <laughs> this is why I always get ready late because I hate being on time. Like I hate sitting around and waiting. You know what I mean? Like I would rather, I would rather them wait on me than me wait on them. Like, you know? That's why I'm always late everywhere. I don't have no, punctuality to me whatsoever and sometimes it ain't even gonna be fashionably late it's just gonna be late <laughs> i don't know what i heard drake finesse earlier i've been on drake real bad lately like leaving me dipping out on me it's not even a song that's not leaving me dipping out on me I was watching this podcast and the pot and in the podcast the girl said, Lex, you're a bad friend. And she was like, How a bad friend? She said, When y'all call Lex, Lex be like, Ugh. and oh god, that's how I be. <laughs> Give me a kiss. Project, project, 
Christmas. Now that you're in the balance is in my account now. Okay. I just gave my whole 10 piece. I'm not one of them. When I give me one of them, I ain't letting it go. When I pull up, I'm coming from all right. <laughs> When he say that part, I feel like he's talking about it because I sure fuck be doing that. I'm saying I'm a money don't know my size. Stick them sides. And you better treat wisely. That's my high. One, two, three, four, five, five. I'ma break your heart. That's my high. One, two, three, four, five, five. I love the outcome. I am gonna get dressed later. And I'm about to go and light the hookah and have me a drink, duh, because pregame, duh. But not too much. But not too much. I'm loving short hair, Bonnie. Boys, told the 70 on the strip, I'm ready to die. Cutting the trash and bending the corner, then I make shit glide. Try to bring the drive, tell me he ain't know how we chop chop slide. I'll never lose sleep over no bitch, way too much pride. Fill it up in a briefcase, split the shit with the vibes. Breaking them brinks, truck, my right wrist, man, keep. I spent days in the east, trying to figure if I'm geek. This bitch tweaking, talk too much while I was geek. Blew my peak, fucking rap, niggas hoes, I'm on the street. This shit sweet. I went half a million on rose, get four million on my ice, couple million on my cars. I went Tyson, I'm too nice. Niggas stop me on the street, wanted to talk, so he asked my price. The number was high as me, I ain't gon' lie. I was fucking with this little wife, then she buy. And the seats, God is coming, baby Back outside, boys, told the 70 on the strip I'm ready to die Cutting the tracks and bending the corner Then I make shit glide Try to bring the drive, tell me he ain't know How we chop, chop, slide I'll never lose sleep over no bitch Way too much pride Fill it up in a briefcase Split the shit with the vibes Still a shoot, 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 shoot. still a shoot. 